Yeah, I thought like me. How that look together? In perfect harmony. Like now you want to get a little bit more insulting. We do it like this. Yes, finally something brand new. But no, it's not from Lego. But hey, it's from One Gay. We all love One Gay, right? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, they're cool. They're doing new stuff, man. The last pieces are actually some of the. Ooh, something fell down upstairs. Wherever you are, whoever you are, I hope you're okay. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Oh, I love this. It's here. We have more modular homes. Well, it's not really like a modular. It still belongs in their category of architecture, but this is so cool, you guys. Now, I know when I first started doing the channel, I was doing just modular homes, and you know, because of you guys, I started expanding my mind a little bit, and you know, reviewing all sorts of stuff. It's really nice to come back to a new set that is brand new for 2018. So check it out. Here it is. So this is Juan Gay's Garden Coffee House, France. Number 6310. 2,313 pieces. So if you haven't seen the French Lodge video, check it out here from One Gay. They're really, really cool. They actually listen. So if you guys buy One Gay from us, or if you have some feedback and opinions, I can let them know, and they'll be super, super happy that we're giving feedback now. And I just commend them. Congratulations, One Gay. We need much, much more of this. There's three or four other ones that I'm building right now, and those will be listed on the store as well. And you also have more architecture stuff that's coming out. And you can find them anywhere. But if you want to buy them from Brick Me Up, Scotty, support Scotty if you want to. I mean, you know, the, the website is just for you guys. So the set doesn't have any minifigures. But speaking of, I wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to Mike from Germany. Michael, thank you so much for sending me this. Look, Nano Deer. Thank you, Mike. This is going to be so much fun. That means I'm going to build this and then we're going to use Nano Deer to review. The nano blocks, yeah, we got plenty of nano blocks to come. They're very, very small bricks, really, really tiny. I had no problem building them. It's a lot of fun. Now, I bought this out of my own pocket because I support them. I think it's actually a really cool idea. And they have sent me so many samples before. It's only fair that I actually buy them and support this idea. First thing first, cool thing is it comes in two sections. It has a little park area here. But I'm going to move the little park area away. Now, if you've seen the other One Gay videos, you'll know that they're kind of iffy on certain parts and they always do this thing on the rooftop. We'll come to that in a bit. And the manual is really small. Thank you to keeping the manual very, very thin and small. But you have to have eagle eyes to look at the manual because they layer pieces by pieces and sometimes the colors blend into each other. You got to make sure you take your time and go through it. So first thing is they're using two different kinds of base plates on here, so it's not the typical base plate, and it's actually raised up here, which shouldn't be a problem. You guys can probably take this off and put it on your own base plate. It won't be the 32 by 32. I'll give you guys the dimensions. Keep watching the video and you'll see it. But look, it's all tiled on the front. I like that quite a lot. And this is really cool. They have a coffee shop sign, printed sign there. I like the vines and I like their idea of the flowers this time. They just use circular studs, but you know, you can certainly replace it with real, not real flowers, but you can put your own idea of flowers or the typical style with the branches coming out. I'm sure you can modify it yourself if you want it to have more of a flowery look. I'm actually quite happy with this because it looks minimal and it's just kind of cool. You get the idea. That is flowers. The windows are awesome, man. They have blue tint and a yellow tint here. I think that actually kind of makes it stand out more than your typical modular home. I kind of like that look. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Like right on the front door on the side, there's like a side entrance there, but it's an empty hole. Could have just covered that up, to be honest, or put a window there. So one thing that might kind of turn you off or turn you on, I have no idea, is that when you finish building the set, there's a lot of pieces that are on the exterior that come in last. So a lot of like the awnings and the flowers and some of the windows up here, they may fall off easier because they're not fully flushed in. They go in last like a piece of puzzle. So is that good or bad? Is that good or bad? You let me know if you like that or not. I love the texture of the, the edges of the wall. You just have a lot of these pieces going up and down on all sides of this house. It's really cool, you know, the more I look at it. I like the dark blue and it kind of goes with the light blue. I think that's really cool. Nothing here on the side. Oh, you see this thing right here, right? You know what that means? We'll see that soon. We look at the back here, look at that. Yeah, lots of decorations here with the vine. Two different balconies here. Balcony is really interesting, right? The balcony here on the top level is a little bit loose. Juan Gay has this really crazy way of designing things. They may not be perfect, but I'm so down for them at least giving it a shot and giving it a try. And this second one down here, they put a little planter here, but you can adjust. You want the flower pot to go up or down. It's, that's entirely up to you. And it's decorated with more and more vines and a little bit more flowers up here. 
I'm actually missing one green plant thing here. It's easy to find. I think I had a couple missing pieces on the set. I think one of them that's missing is actually from the inside. You can't even see it. So that's okay. That happens quite a lot when you order these kind of sets. This is actually very decorative here on the side too. I like this side. Now the bottom part here, interesting. They have this little window here and it kind of pushes in, but there's not supposed to be like that. I think it's just supposed to be a decorative kind of thing. I don't know why they couldn't flush it from the top down, but you no, know, that's just one of the things I was talking about where they do these random kind of designs, but I like it. I have no problem with it. Whoops, well, sorry guys. I forgot to put these pieces back on after opening and closing the window curtain thingy. So my bad, at least you're gonna see it in these close up shots. So, you know, I didn't forget those pieces. They're here. You know, sometimes I just forget to put these things back on when I'm showing them to you. We all know Wang Gay does not furnish their interior. So it's empty, no, but that's okay. You guys got plenty of sets, I'm sure, that you can just furnish it yourself. And a lot of you do like it without it being furnished. But the cool thing and the good thing about this, okay, so it doesn't come off apart on each floor like a modular building, but yes, look, it splits open. Doesn't that look neat? Yeah, you like that? I was just like, oh, I wish they had a little bit of things inside. But it's totally okay because if you're a Lego guy or if you're a brick guy and you're building all these sets, I'm sure you got so many spare pieces. Use your imagination, fill it up yourself. But like I said, this is an architecture set. It's not meant to be a creator set. If you don't have enough room and you want to make it even look even longer, it actually doesn't look too bad like that. As far as having no interior, it's all studded. So you can probably tile it yourself. And if you look out here on the second floor to the balcony, they did put like a swivel door there. They can kind of swivel. I think they just wanted to put the door diagonally there and that was the only option that they could do. But the door opens up and closes and there's a little bit of space in there. On the third floor, that balcony piece I was telling you about, that's the design I was talking about. I don't know if you guys like it like that. See, the windows just kind of doesn't sit flush down. So you do have to be careful with that. No, this actually might be good for beginners like you and I. We can actually kind of furnish it ourselves and we can update each other. So follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description and I'll try to update this and furnish it when I have time. I hope I have time. You'll find some of the windows have a little bit of a gap in there and that's just the way it's designed. There's no, nothing to actually sit into the piece. So, you know, that's another thing whether or not you like that idea or that style. The second and third floor, just so you guys know, is a little bit flimsy. There's no support underneath the tile. So just so you know, and you actually have room up here in the attic area, which is kind of cool. And it does go into the back, but there's no way to reach around the back and go into there. It's just closed off, but there is a gap in there. Again, you can hide all your goodies inside there. Well, even though it's empty inside, the good thing is it does have staircase to each floor and the staircases are built into the wall. So they're pretty sturdy. Now the hinges here that they use, like these parts, they, they're like tripling them. They don't do it like single, like the other brand that like puts one here that holds the whole set together. This is actually a pretty sturdy piece of set. Now I, I managed to like pick it up here on the first and second floor like that, you know? It's sturdy, but a couple of places that are a little bit loose when it came to design and building this part, and it's this little tower right here. I don't know if you can see it from that camera. When you start putting these pieces on, they will collapse. My suggestion is build it really lightly first and then take it off, build the whole piece here, and then put it on. And when you put it on, you just open up here, put one hand down here, you can go all the way down under, and you can just push it all the way down really nice and tight. So that's my one tip for you guys when you're building this one. You don't want to push down on it. If you push down on this, it's going to fall down. And these three pieces here, I had to actually put an extra piece of stud on the back of this to stick out. It's supposed to lay flat against these two, but it won't. It will just pu push the other ones out and it's an easy fix. And also the windows aren't fully flushed in. So that's just whether or not you like that kind of design or you're like, oh, I wish they flushed it in there and there straight and straight and straight. So do you guys like it like that? Like it, or does it, do you wish that it was, this was fully flushed down? Because in my opinion, I think it's actually pretty okay because it's actually quite easy to push together. You just don't want to push it too hard or else it will collapse on you. Whereas the other sets that we have reviewed, they fully flush it down, but then you can, you have all these problems with like pieces that fly off everywhere. And Wange does this thing with the rooftop. I open it up here. You got to be very careful when you read the manual for the rooftop because they like to do this thing where they put the studs on the edges and it's just like it almost wants to fall down. But when you get the last piece on there, it is pretty sturdy. So be careful when you're doing the rooftop for all their sets. That's just how they do it. That's the Wange thing, man. That's the Wange thing to do. That sounds so wrong. So like I said, piece of puzzle at the end, these come off like so. So, you know, when you're building it, you're like, oh, they forgot the pieces on there. No, they didn't. It's just the very last step of the manual that you put those on. 
and that is a creative design or thinking whether or not you like that, I think it's totally cool, it's totally fine. And I do like this, surprisingly. I thought this was backwards. I'm like, why are they putting this in? You can see the hole that is exposed, but that is actually pretty cool. I've never seen that from any other set. Why not put it backwards? And you know, it looks more like a design thing there. It's like a little, it's a light post thing, but hey, I'm down with that. That's actually really good. Good job, Juan Gay. The rooftop is fine. It's cool once it's all together. It's flushed down. I like the little chimney part there. I guess I would say it kind of has this pop out look to it. Now let's slide this to the side and look at the park. Ah, the park area. This is so cool. I'm so glad that they actually extended it out and put something there. That's optional for you if you want to put it on there. This is very, very neat. I like the flower garden area and they, I, it's really cool how they fenced it off and they fully tiled it here. The colors look really pretty to me. It looks very, like I said, like the French Lodge. You know, now the more that I look at it, the umbrella, the color's fine, it's just the black pieces on top. I don't know if I like the black on top. Could have switched those out for another blue or a yellow or a different shade. The tree is grand. The little cart here with the flowers on it. That's a nice little eating area. I quite like it. So the street lamp lights are a little bit loose on the set. If I just touch it like that, it'll fall off. It's a really easy fix. I just put an extra stud on this, put it on here. It's a little bit higher, but it's fixed now. And same for the umbrella. It doesn't fit too, too tight. You know, that's an easy fix. Use your spare parts. Put a little bit of thud on there, and now it ain't gonna go nowhere. And you're supposed to put it on the side like that. You know, you can probably put it somewhere else if you want, really wanted to, maybe on the front here like that. Like, how does that look? You want it like that? Or maybe on the, on the side, but then you can't really close it. And the tree will hit the building here. You can actually just move the tree and put the park here on the side, that, that would work. Or you can put the park this way so the coffee shop can still open up and close. So that's kind of cool too. And it's time for the dimensions. Here's my ruler. Look at this ruler. It's pretty tall. I tried my best to adjust it accordingly. Can you see it on there? Can you see it on that camera? So by height, by brick, we are about 41 pieces high. Right at the tip. It's right, it's just shy of that. 41 pieces high. So here's the 32 by 32 base plate without the park. You know, I slide the park out a little bit so you guys can see it. Without it there, you put it together, it's about 24 studs. It is 24. 24 studs by 24. Length and width. Shy of the 32 by 32 base plate. Like I said, you can probably not use the base plate. Put it right here. Give yourself a little bit more room to put your decorative thing. So with the park on there, the length changes to 36 studs. It's just over the 32. If you do put it on the base plate, you're not gonna be able to open the coffee shop. What are you gonna do? Okay, so for this camera, we got super wide camera. It's time to do some comparison. Let's pull out some of the other sets and let's see how it looks compared to that. I think the first set we should get is the French Lodge because I did that video and you can kind of just see what it looks like against it. So let me grab it. Yeah, you guys can see that. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Because the super wide angle is getting everything. You can see everything, look at that. Push this here, push that there. It looks very complex. See what I mean? It's got that, it's kind of got the same vibe to it. But this is a minifigure scale. This isn't. Minifigures can fit inside, but the doorway is not really, really right. So what else should we get? Should we get another, let's get something from Lego. Let's pull out a couple of modular homes. So this is the Parisian restaurant from Lego. This is one of my other classic favorite ones here too. How does that look? Yeah, they kind of look like they go together, huh? Let's pull some more out here. I'll slide this to the side, get it on that camera. This one is Lego's pet store, but by putting it to the side here, you won't be able to open it at all. But you know, this is just for a display purpose. Look at that. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, how's that look neat? How's that look together? Like so? Looks kinda cool, right? Now you wanna get a little bit more insulting, we do it like this. There you guys go, this is just for your reference. We've got different kinds of modulars here. Oh, how about this for kicks? Adding even more insult. Pizza Hut and the Kellogg's Cafe. You know, they can just be like kind of the side block there going, hey guys, what's up? Oh look, the pizza fell down. There's the pizza. I'll hang on to that. Ah. Yeah? Not bad? So there you guys go. What do you think? You like it, huh? You gonna get yours? You wanna buy yours? I'm gonna go back and build the other ones right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for all the love. 
comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, and ring that bell for more videos. I'm gonna drop more videos. I promise you I'm coming back with more. I just need more time in my life for these videos. All right, you guys, until next time, break me out. Boop. And I also want to mention a quick shout to Sean. Sean, who did the military video, sent in his minifigure. It's a pirate with a fish. I don't know why he chose that one, but thank you, Sean. And this is the glass of minifigures. So if you guys want to be jumping into the sets with me, you're more than welcome to send me some minifigures of yourself. That's, of course, Nick Trucker. How you doing, Nick? And we got Daniel there with a the snowboard. So maybe I'll have these guys go in the set with me, and we'll have some fun in this one. Wow, look at you, Scotty. Why are you so dressed up? Well, I thought I'd be a little bit classier and dress up nicely. Being in France, going to have some coffee. Let's go check out this place. <laughs> Dear, I'm having a hard time getting up the step. It's kind of high up. It's okay, Scotty. I know you can do it. You need that coffee. Come on. And that reminds me, I gotta get my coffee too. Hello? Anybody home? No, hold up. What the hell is this? Where's everybody? Where's the machine? Where's the coffee? Where's the waiter? Where's the kitchen? Where's the tables? Oh, what a disappointment. It's all good, dear. Maybe there's something upstairs, you know? You never know what we can find up there. There's gotta be something in this place. Oh, it's okay, dear. Hang on, I'm coming up the staircase. Don't forget, we still got one more floor up above. <sighs> okay, before we go on the third floor, let me just catch my breath in this little balcony. Hey, dear, have you seen this over here? It's actually pretty nice. Come check it out. Me? It's too small for the both of us up here. Why are we looking outside? We're, we're enjoying the view, man. Check it out. Look, got a beautiful little park down there. No, 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 no. We need to go to the third floor. I need my coffee. Third floor and there ain't nothing up here, dear. I don't think we're gonna find coffee in this place. Hey, how'd you get over there? You get me all excited. You take me to these places and there ain't nothing inside. You know, there's still one more place we haven't checked out, my dear. The attic. I'm not even gonna ask you, dear, how you found your way into the attic. I crawled out the window and came up to the rooftop and who the heck is that? I am Sean the Pirate and this is my fish. No one touches my fish. I don't want your stinky fish here for some coffee. Can nobody help me? This is ridiculous. Arr, no one can help me, my friend. You are in the wrong place. Everybody is long gone, my friend. For my name is Sean the Pirate with my fish. This is my home. Uh, let's just get out of here. We'll go find another set that has something inside for you. Okay. Oh, wait. There's still the park. Let's go to the park. Hey, I know you guys. You're Nick the Trucker and Daniel. How you guys doing? Howdy. Hi. We're looking for coffee, man. Do you guys have any coffee here? Nah, we ain't got any. Man, this really sucks. You know what? I do like your snowboard, though. Oh, thanks, man. Can I ride it, please? Nah, you're just gonna hurt yourself, man. Oh, come on. Let me just take it. Come on, Scotty. Let's, let's take it and go. Let's run. Go. Okay, you guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more. For now, it's time to hit the slopes. Thanks, Scotty. I need your help to push me. Alrighty. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for it. I'm ready. Just do it. Ouch. Dear, man, I just found some coffee too. 